Konnichiwa, everybody, and uh, glad you made it back to another video, practice video, on this uh, advertiser unfriendly channel. Um, in this week's video, we are going to be taking a look at Brian, Brian Fury. Um, he's, he's been in Tekken since Tekken 3, since this beautiful game came out. And he has been terrorizing the roster since then with his quick and mostly powerful attacks. Um, what makes Brian so dangerous is the fact that he, he can keep you at bay and keep you in the air for a very, very long time. And uh, with his strong attacks, he will finish you up. He will put you in the air or on the ground and uh, finish the job. Uh, makes him very very dangerous and and easy to juggle with but as I said don't fucking juggle he's been mostly the same uh, since he came out in Tekken 3 he's been in every Tekken ever since uh, and this time he came back and they did something awesome to him his, his default costume is just freaking awesome this exposed body parts this you know this fiber underneath his skin I mean the whole costume is just freaking awesome what moving on uh today i will show you some of his basic attacks um it's gonna be a little lesser like i think i had 13 attacks that i'm gonna show you and some combos you can string together because there are so many variations of his attacks and i want you to find them out on your own and uh, have the fun for yourself um without any further ado let's jump into the training And now we're back in our now familiar space with our familiar dummy. And uh, the first one I'm gonna show you today is 1 2 body blow. And it goes like uh, square, triangle, square. It's a basic three piece combo and it goes like this. So you just push your enemy with this away from you. And this is only one variation of this combo, square, triangle, square. And the other one is one, two, low kick. And it goes like square, triangle, and X. And it pretty much looks the same like the one, two, body blow, but it ends with a kick. You, and, and there are so many variations of it, you can confuse your enemy every time. You can end it on every note you want. Um, like, I don't know, five or six different variations of this, but these are um, only two. And uh, yeah, one to body blow and one to low kick, which uh, differ in one to body blow and one to low kick. And you can confuse the shit out of your enemy. Next thing is Snake Pit. And um, this one is squared and triangle together and triangle after. So it looks like this. But when you bind the uh, square and uh, triangle at one of these buttons, you can press the button twice. So if you push triangle and square twice, you get the same effect. So triangle and square and triangle after. Oh, two times triangle and tri uh, triangle and square. And... Uh, square after so or both triangle and square triangle and square you have this nice combo which pushes your enemy away and this is brian's greatest strength pushing the enemy away from you and and keeping him at bay and as you see that's a, that's a very strong attack you can open the fight with this pretty much uh, next one is sidestep elbow and it goes like forward towards the enemy and square and triangle so it looks like this and again pushes your enemy away from you and it's very easy to bind it on one of your favorite buttons you don't, don't you just can't forget that um, towards the enemy is always very important to this yeah pretty good next thing is another one you can open the fight with um, a volcano cannon and you just push towards the enemy and down at the same time so you have this downward motion like there and square as many times as you can 
so you will have this that stuns your enemy and what the comment list I think don't show you you can finish this up by by triangle and bam you have this awesome last blow that your enemy just won't expect when you do this uh, often enough and bam also that's that's quite a lot of damage keeping your enemy paralyzed snake edge one of my favorites uh, what it does, it cuts, it sweeps the, f the feet from underneath your enemy and um, and pretty much spins him in the air. It goes like this. And what it is, it's downwards, like this, those two together. And X will always edge your enemy so you can have him have him in the air or at the ground you can do it twice also again a very strong attack the next one is crash impact and it's away from your opponent square and triangle together pretty much we're working around these two buttons today um, and what it looks like it's like this it's so quick the first one engages so fast that your enemy will be like oh I can guard this but there comes another one and it it doesn't matter if he if he blocks or not he will he will get pushed back after this attack which you just benefit a lot from hands of doom he had this since pretty much Tekken 3 but this combo is very very dangerous because he telegraphs the move all over the place and it's pretty much every time guardable so if you're not sure if you are not um, not as confident with Brian don't do it but I wanted to have it in here for the sake of, of, of history for having him for so long I mean this hit so it's um, back away from your opponent triangle square and triangle and you have something like this it stuns the enemy the second one stuns the enemy so be careful the first one not but when the second one hits uh, the enemy is mostly stunned and there are also many variations how you can end this one. The next thing is um, orbital hill kick and it pretty much kicks your opponent over the head uh, which Brian just, just won't leave his place he will stay at the same place but your enemy will have to you know roll back after this and you'll gain some space again which is very good when you can incorporate this in combos. Here is another favorite of mine, which he had for a very, very long time, and it's it's, it's mark breaker, and it's twice towards your opponent and triangle, and it just launches the enemy away from you like a stinger. Bam! I love this attack. How it looks, how fast it is, how unpredictable it is. Um, the enemy just can can just launch at you, and you bam, gain some space and and did some damage. I love Brian for that. Slash kick, which is towards your opponent twice and X and it will pretty much launch your opponent away from you when he uh, at that wants to charge at you but it's very risky you have to know the timing perfectly so so that that it hits so keep that in mind next one is uh, left upper which just uh, you know gives your opponent a nice hit in the air when and it's when you're rising so you have to be down you, and then when you let go you have this upper motion you press square and you got your opponent for some nice uh, air combos it's uh, quite tricky the timing has to be right also here so um, keep that in mind and practice your timing and the last one I got for you today is Anaconda Assassin which you can execute while moving it's twice at your opponent and triangle and square together and you grab your enemy and you got this nice grab uh, that's not standard, it makes you look cool and uh, not such a scrub when it comes to you know these standard grabs. Uh, you can do it while your enemy dashes at you or you uh, just are charging at your enemy. Let's see. Well, not like this. Well, in the movement, in the move you can you can attack your enemy, which is also very, very good. So um, a little shorter video this week, so let's get right into the combos. And here we are at the combos where uh, just a little, you know, 
uh, what I said, advice on how you can use Brian because there are so many ways and I don't want to go like this is the right way, just a little tip how you can how you can go further with this one. So the first one is uh, when you do this uh, cut right here you can when the enemy is in the air you can pretty much give him another one for the way you can kick him or uh, do this this you know salt kick something it opens a way for you to uh, get a combo in and uh, do whatever you like uh, another one is this uh, elbow crush right here that I did like this it's your opponent is for a stun for a second and you can get in another combo but again the timing has to be precise and that's that's a good thing you have to practice your timing and uh, you'll get better eventually uh, yeah and the last one the last combo that I can that I can show you is when you're this this rising motion if you got your opponent in the air you can you know pretty much if your timing is right you can get some extra damage in uh, let's see what we can do here Bam! pretty much everything will hit when you got your opponent up in the air and at the wall you can pretty much do some massive damage so uh, hope you learned something from this video and uh, that that will set you on your way and uh, um, help you in the future and if you like this video then Brian Fury will come to your school and beat up the bully that that won't just leave you alone promise that uh, I'll send him a letter huh so uh, have a wonderful weekend and take care bye